Welcome back everyone to another video in our series of making 2D games using Unity. In this video we're going to be looking at setting up some user interface, otherwise known as UI, in our game. So we're going to set up a canvas and we're going to look at adding text to the canvas and then actually changing what the text says from our scripts. Alright, so first step to getting our user interface set up is to put in a canvas. So in our hierarchy, we can go to Create and go to UI, which again stands for User Interface, and we're going to find a canvas. And when we bring a canvas in, we get a couple of things. We get this event system, and we get the canvas. Now the canvas, uh, just think of that as uh, a big piece of paper that's going to overlay our screen that we can then draw on. So if I double click the canvas here, you'll see the canvas in our scene view is drawn really large off to the side of our actual scene. Our scene is way down here like this. Okay, here's where my camera is. So um, don't be confused by this. Basically what we're doing here is they're putting this canvas off here uh, out of the way of our scene so that we can work on it and arrange things without having to worry about clicking on objects that are already in the scene and them getting in our way. So it's really just over here. This size here um, is not the size of the canvas uh, in the game. It's not going to be so much bigger than our level. It's actually going to match up exactly our camera view. So up here in my game view here, um, this is what my game looks like in this game view where the camera sees and this canvas will overlay this exactly. Okay, So if we look in the inspector here on our canvas, you'll see that uh, it has a render mode. We're in screen space overlay. That's what we're going to keep it in. There's a few other modes that you can use in your canvas, but usually we use this one for just displaying things like health and, and on-screen type controls. Okay. So now that we have our canvas, we can add elements to it. So if I go to my canvas in the hierarchy and I right click it, I can get those menus again and I'm going to go to UI and these are all different types of things I can add to a canvas. I'm just going to start with some text. I just want to display some simple text on the screen. So I'm going to click the text. It will pop that text box right here in the middle of my scene and you can sort of see it up here. It's really small in our view here. Um, but it says new text right there. So it's actually showing you that the middle of this big box is actually the middle of my camera. So I can zoom in on here and I can see the box. So this is my text box. In the inspector there's a few different pieces that our text box has. The first one is the rect transform. And this is the rectangle that my text is sitting in. It gives its XYZ position on the canvas. Uh, and this is in like camera or screen kind of coordinates, so 0, 0, 0 is right the center of our screen. Um, <clears throat> it gives me a width and a height of this box, uh, and it gives me some anchors and some other controls. This one right here, this anchors uh, box, is important for us because this allows us to tell Unity where to keep the text anchored to. So if I keep it in the center, if I change the size of my screen, this text will always try to stay right in the center of the screen. But in this case, I don't want my text to be in the center. This is going to be for my current health of my player. So I'm going to move it up into the left corner, and I'm going to want it to actually stay up in the left corner. So when I change the size of my screen or my window that I'm playing the game in, I want it to stay right in the corner. So let's move it first. Um, right now we have our our uh, tool selected here. This is our canvas tool or our rectangle transform tool and that uh, allows us just to reach in here and grab this text box and just drag it wherever I want. So I can uh, grab it and drag it and I can, whoops, that grabbed the center point. I gotta zoom in on it sometimes a little bit to get a hold of it, but I'm gonna drag it up here into the corner. Alright, let's see if I can get it. Got to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to drag it in here and put it kind of right up here in the corner. It's always a good idea to leave yourself a little bit of padding between your box and the edge of the screen. Uh, that way if your uh, monitor you're playing on has some overscan issues where it doesn't um, quite go out to the edges or goes a little too far over the edges, you won't lose anything. It won't clip it off around the edge. So you usually want to keep maybe a, 
Uh, a lot of times they say uh, at least a 5 pixel border if not a 10 pixel border from the side. So there's my box. Uh, I can change its size just by dragging here if I want to and you notice when I do that it changes the width and the height here. Um, so you can just drag around it's really nice or you can just put numbers right here in the width and the height if you like. Okay, the next piece of it, uh, oh, and then let's do these anchor points. So if I click here in the anchor point presets, I can pick from the ones that are there. Now, since I'm in the top left corner of the screen, I want to anchor to that. So I'm going to click the top left corner, and that puts this little anchor marker up here in the top left. And now if I was to change the size of my screen, that text would always strive to stay right up here in the top corner. Okay, that keeps it locked into that spot. So that's the first piece. Next you have the text element here, and this text is the actual text that's being displayed in the box. So we can type in some placeholder text. This is going to be for my help, uh, and maybe uh, we just put in a placeholder number that's about as big as our health would ever get, maybe 100. And uh, now we can go to the character section here. This allows me to specify a font, and you can have more fonts in Unity. You just have to have the font files and import them in. Uh, and then you have all your normal, you know, you can make it bold or normal or whatever. Uh, for the font, here's font size. So maybe we go to a 25 uh, for a font size. Um, and you notice the font got bigger here. Uh, we can control alignment within the text box. Uh, so I'm just going to tell it uh, left alignment, but we'll go ahead and do center of the box alignment for text. You can give it some overflows. Um, basically this tells uh, Unity what to do if my text overflows the space I have. So in this case I'm not anticipating that I'll, I'll need more space. As a matter of fact I can probably drag this box in a little bit smaller um, because that's got plenty of room right now. So I'll probably make my width maybe about uh, 200 and my height can stay at maybe 50 just to kind of tighten up that space. Uh, and then we can, of course, change it so it's more centered in the side. But um, that just allows you horizontal and vertical overflow. So right now, if it overflows horizontally, it'll ra try to wrap to a new line. And if it goes too far vertically, it'll just truncate it or cut it off. That's probably fine for what I'm doing here. Uh, and then you can specify color for your text. So maybe health should be red. So we'll just put that like that. So health is now up in the corner here. You can see it a little better. And those are the main things that we play with in here. All right, so basically font, size, alignment, color, maybe some overflows. Okay, so that is how we can set up our box. Uh, then it's always a good idea in your hierarchy to go and name this box with something that makes sense. Because we may have several text boxes in here and we want to differentiate between them. So I'm just going to call this my health text because this is going to contain the health of my player. All right, now that it's there, let's look at how we can change this value with our script because every time that we add health or take health away, we're going to want this to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my scripts here in Mono Develop. I'm going to go to my uh, top-down player movement script for now. And I think I'll just add some text uh, controls into here. Now, if we're going to do a lot with text and a lot with our user interface, it would make sense to have a separate script just to do that. But for this simple example, I'm just going to add it to my existing player movement script. So this is the script that's attached to my skeleton that's causing him to move around. The script has uh, the skeleton's health already in it, so we can just grab that value right from the script here instead of having to have one script talk to another. So first thing to do if you're going to do UI things in a script is you got to go up here to the top where you have all the using commands and we have to tell it that we want to use Unity Engine dot UI. So what this does is it allows us to access all the built-in user interface Unity functions that we need. Once we have that, uh, let's go down and make a section here for some UI variables. I'm going to do a public um, text variable okay, that can hold one of those text elements like the health text I just put out there and we'll just call it health text. So now I have a place to store 
that health text box in my script so I can make a, a establish a link to it. Once you have the variable, you save your script, you go back out into Unity, and you establish that connection in your inspector. So if I go to my skeleton that has that movement script, I can see now that at the bottom here I have my health text variable. It says none. What I'm going to do is grab that health text from the canvas here and drag and drop it right here into my health text box. That establishes the link. So now in my script, when I talk about health text, it knows I'm talking about this text box right here. Back in, Un or back in Mono Develop, now that we have established that link, we can um, actually send some information to it. So at the beginning of the game here, when this guy starts up, we probably want to make sure that the health text is actually set to the current health or the max health of our player. So to change the value in the box, just make sure we initialize it correctly. We just say the variable's name, health text, and then we have to say dot, and to get the actual text that's being displayed, we have to say text like this. This gets me to the actual string value that the text box will display. And then I can set that equal to any string. So uh, I'm going to put some quotes here to tell it to literally type out in that box what I have here. And I'll put health and a padded space. Uh, maybe we'll even put a colon here. And then I'm going to put a plus. This just basically means put the word health colon with a space in that box and then add to it. So add some more at the end of this little string. I'm building a string out of some pieces. And then I'm going to tell it to give it the health. Uh, and um, a lot of times you want to say after that to string. This is a built-in function that will convert number values because health is, an, is a float. So we want to convert that to a string. All right, so that will cause a health to be not a number but a string, so it can actually be displayed as text. Okay, so this is going to say health, and it's going to give me the current amount of health that I have. I'm setting that out in the inspector. Let's save this and just test this out. If I go back out to Unity and click back on my skeleton, you'll notice that his health is set to 10. So when I hit play, this box here ought to say health 10 instead of health 100. So let's um, make a little more room for it here in the game view so we can see it. If I hit play now, you'll see that it did indeed change it to say health 10. That is my current health. So that is how you can um, change the text in the box. You just, you just tell it in your script to change it. It changes it one time right there before you do it. Now, as this game plays, um, my uh, skeleton here can take damage. I've got this take damage function here, which uh, anytime he gets hit by something that can damage him, gets called. Uh, and what it does is it adjusts the amount of damage or the amount, amount of health that I have. And then we check to see if we are alive or dead. So anytime our health changes for some reason, we also want to update the health text box on the screen. So to do that, it's real simple. Matter of fact, it's the exact same command, so you can copy this command here. And down here at the time where it changes, we can um, put in, I'll just paste that in, our command that says, okay, now that health has changed, our variable here has changed, let's go back to our health text box text, and let's go ahead and feed it in that new value of health. Now one um, kind of a little tip here, if you are uh, checking for if you're dead or not, it's possible that health could go to a negative number. You could overshoot zero. So a lot of times it's a good idea just when you're checking to see if you have any health left, just go ahead and set health back to zero uh, so that if it went below zero, we just adjust it to zero. That way it doesn't give us some weird negative health value out in the inspector. So let's test this out and see if it changes as we take damage from our player or from our enemy here. We have that spider enemy up here. He's going to come over here and try to shoot me. So you notice every time I get hit, my health is dropping and it's showing that up here. And now that it's below zero, it's just staying at zero. If I looked at the player's health here, uh, you'll notice that it's just staying right at zero because I told it to just change it back to zero every time it goes below. 
So that is now updating my health in real time as I take damage. And that's as easy as it is to apply text uh, to your scene. You set up the text box in the canvas, you get it all formatted the way you want it to be, you make a link for it in your script with a text variable, and then all you have to do is go to the text portion of that and set it equal to whatever you want it to say. And anytime you want it to change what it says, you just do the same thing. You just use the same command. Go to the text and set it equal to whatever the new string it is that you want it to say. All right, so hopefully that will be helpful to you as you start setting up your text elements in your game. You can display all sorts of useful information right on the screen where the player can see it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.